Yo, what is up, my JoJo's? How you doing, man? What up, everybody? Hope you're having a good day, good winter. I know I am. Oh, you hear that crunch? That's the ice. It's icy, snowy, it's uh, frosty. All right, so today, right now, I know it's nighttime almost, but I want to talk about this. That plane, no, I'm kidding. Um, let's talk about the captain, okay? Who is the captain? It's very simple. The captain is a person who is a mage, a mage. See, that was the original name, okay? The mage. Uh, you can call him the mage if you want. The captain is the merc and the sage put together, okay? So what does that mean? That means they have the aspect of, you know, uh, the independent side of themselves, right? And the leadership side of themselves, okay? The wise leader, somebody who knows what the heck they're doing, okay? But also can be a hub, a person who has charisma, who can garner everybody, you know? Get everybody's charisma, get everybody's charisma, they are a hub, a community leader. They are the hub spot for all these people. They represent the face of the group, okay? They represent stability. They represent a home. They represent a team that, you know, a team dynamic that is healthy and not toxic. It's the, the, it's the paragon, okay? They are the paragon of all the leaders. And what I mean by that is, think of the Superman, okay? Captain America, okay? Somebody who everybody looks up to and goes, oh, look, it's that guy. That's, that's, <laughs> that's, that's the captain. I know it's a little extra, but that's the captain, though. The captain is somebody, most people look at that guy and they go, I trust him. I think the team's going to work out. I think this is the right team that we have. I think we have the good dynamic. It's somebody who, like... They emphasize your strengths. They they boost you, right? They're not a, you know, they're not somebody who takes. They give more than they ever take. And the reason why the Merc works so well with the Sage in this aspect is the Sage is somebody who has the ability to bring people in. The, the Merc is somebody who has the ability to not take the crap, okay? They, they subtly push out the crap using the Sage abilities, right? They subtly push out the crap, you know, and they push out the and discourage all the garbage. And they're able to, with the ability of the Merc, right? They're able to do that with the chutzpah. The, they have the inner, the inner strength, the inner courage, the inner, um, the inner, uh, uh, you know, they have a self-validation going for them. They know what they're doing is right. They know what they're doing is just. They know what they're doing is what's best for the team because they need to win, okay? They want to win, all right? But they don't make everybody feel the pressure of winning. That's the secret about the captain. The captain is not like, we must win, but the captain will not take crap. The captain will not take the crap of the sulker. He won't take the crap of the rat. He won't take the crap of the joker. He will not take crap. The cobra and the captain, most times the captain wins. Okay, most times the captain wins. The cobra only can slither around the situation. The cobra cannot manipulate the unmanipulatable. If you want to know if somebody's a captain, they're almost unmanipulatable. Pretty much unmanipulatable. Unless they're a different type of leader, which exists out there. There's a bunch of other types of leaders. The captain is somebody who is just, they cannot be moved. Okay, they cannot be moved. They will not move, right? They will not budge from what they want to get done, okay? That doesn't make them an asshole, all right? Part of my French, that doesn't make them an asshole. That makes them intolerant of stupidity. That makes them have the, you know, standards that they should be having, right? That's standards. There's a difference between having standards and being a dick, being an asshole. Part of my French. We're talking about somebody who's like, hey, for the sake of the team, because it's not right for everybody else to suffer for your nonsense, you know, for the sake of the team, I have to let you go. That's the kind of person the captain is. He soft pushes you out. He doesn't hard push you out. He doesn't have to. Why would he have to do that? The whole team doesn't want that person in there, right? And the whole team doesn't want to have the person in there. By that point on, the captain just kind of subtly takes that person aside and says, hey, uh, I don't know, Mark, I'm making up a name, Matt. It ain't working out. <laughs> Matt, Mark, Jack. Jack is a good one. Jack, they ain't, it ain't working out, Jack. We're going to have to let you go, man. Uh, there's a bunch of other teams out there. You might want to check out the other teams. That's how it is. Um, 
And it's not like he he hates anybody or has like ill will towards somebody. He's very professional. He's able to keep that profession. That's the Merc side of things, by the way. The Merc is able to be unemotional while doing the bad things, the quote unquote, the bad things, the tough decisions, the, the tough acts that nobody wants to do. They're unemotionally invested in that, right? They're not in that zone. They're not in that framework. They're outside. They have pushed. I hate to call it the matrix, but they have moved themselves out of the matrix. They have zoomed out. And they see the landscape for what it is. They're like, look at the landscape. Look at the landscape. All right, you got to go. <laughs> that's, what, that's what he does. He goes, you got to go. <laughs> and it's not, you know, it's not, it's not, um, it's not personal. You know, that's the thing about the captain that makes him very, um, you know, uh, respectful, right? About him. That's the most respectable thing I can say about him is he's not somebody who will, hold ill will against you when he's doing these things he's not doing this out of the ill will he will separate himself his own personal feelings for the most part from what he's doing okay he's somebody who needs to do this thing so that the team can continue the project can continue it can be done and move forward and he will try to foster that community wherever he goes he tries to build it he tries to build it even if it's the worst possible situation if his murkness doesn't make him leave already and he's like he sees some sort of value for whatever reason to stay there. He will build a, a community. He will build something. He is a builder, okay? There's a reason why he's the captain. He comes in and he already has the leadership skills, the inner workings. He has something. And he wasn't born with it, by the way. Most captains started out as a merc and they grew into the sage mode, right? They grew into sage mode. Uh, <laughs> only people read or watch now to know what I just said. Uh, he goes into the sage mode, right? He knows, like, these skills now. Like, these things he picked up from all these years of being a merc. Because he went to all of these other offices, all these other places he worked at, all these other companies he worked at. He had become now from nomadic to, you know, academic almost, right? He has these veteran skills now. So because of that, now people respect him. They're like, ah, this guy is the real deal. And people will follow. People will follow somebody who they deem, you know, uh, has value. They know this guy knows what he's talking about. He knows what he's doing. He's not somebody you can just say, ah, he don't know what he's talking about. Look at all these things. He's he got his ABCs on point. Now, it takes time to become a quote unquote captain. There's not anything wrong with anybody who's not a captain. Again, these are all personality traits, right? They're not who you are. They're parts of who you are. Um, some people eventually become a captain after decades of working some people become a captain within five years it depends on your level of adaptability um the harshness of of the workplaces you've been in the harder the workplace in the heart of the jobs the harder the 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 skills you know the quicker you you become a captain and it's, especially with people the more unique people you deal with the more difficult people you deal with the faster it is to become a captain and that's not always a good thing sometimes people you know the captain is a merc who lost a lot of jobs and now he's able to do this you know or maybe he's a uh, a merc who um you know lost his um you know dream job and now he's a captain because he figured out how to navigate because of that bad experience he had um sages who become sages who become captains are in like they be, they had a transitory uh, period where they kind of become disillusioned from the job the workplace because they have to be untied usually sages they lose their job that's what happens they lose their job or they lose the love for their job and they quit the company wherever they are and they go to several other companies and they pick up merc mentalities as they go so they become less attached to groups it's it's almost like they it's almost like they have to become doom pilled to to working before they become a captain and i think unfortunately a sage who becomes a captain sometimes holds a resentment i don't know what it is but sometimes you see a, a captain who has resentment for the job and the people around him that's usually because he's he was a sage first which is unfortunate um that doesn't mean that the person's a bad person it just takes time for them to get over that that's like a it's like a a, a, a rage moment they have like that rageatory period you know, to become a mark, you have to kind of have a rageatory period. You have to 
you know, become either doom pilled or, or have like a rageatory period where you're just like, I can't believe this company would do this. You become disillusioned and you have rage, right? You're like, you're going through the seven stages of grief. Like, how could this happen to me? Ah, you know, and it, that takes time to get over. It takes time to get over. Uh, and, and the people that the captain works best with obviously are the believer, the, uh, they work well with the Joker when the Joker like is somebody who is, has some mixtures to them. Like they have like a lot of, uh, either believerness in them or they have some sort of, uh, they fall, they see a value in that guy and they take him seriously. That's when the Joker will work with the captain. It, that's kind of a tenuous situation. It takes time. So there's usually some sort of, some sort of tension there. The the uh, the um, the sage works very well with the captain, although sometimes there's some struggle there for power. Uh, you'll see that um, the um, the what you call it, the sulker will eventually take a knee to the captain and say, OK, I'm going to go ahead and work with this or the captain boots them out. That's usually how it goes. They, he doesn't stay there for that. He, they, they don't tolerate that. Um, the cobra always gets booted right away. It's like the first person gets booted. The rat will take a knee to the captain happily as long as the captain is somebody they see them right away like oh this is the captain this is the guy when they see them that when the rat sees oh that's the guy they will follow immediately um what's the last one is there anyone else i feel like i'm missing one and i'll put it in the comment section if i missed one i can't think of anybody else right now i know there's somebody i'm missing the believer follows the rat the sulker the the merc merc follows Obviously, Merc sees the captain. And he goes, all right, I don't have to do. Anytime a, a leader steps in and the Merc sees the leader is capable, the Merc doesn't care. He's good. He is happy. He don't want to have to deal with it. That's it, man. Let me know what you guys think. Um, and uh, let me know if you are you a captain. <laughs> do you know a captain? I'm all ears. Have a great day. Take it easy. Bye.